Hi everyone, I'm Melissa Taylor from Proverbs 31 Ministries and here we are in week four. With us again is Pastor Craig Rochelle. How you doing? I'm great, Melissa. Thank you guys for staying with us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, if you guys are doing the online Bible study with us, we are in week four of yep. Dangerous Prayers. And so as you know, we're still in Break Me. We're spending two weeks in that section of the book. And one of the things that you wrote is that in our brokenness, we often experience God's greatest blessings. Mm -hmm. So just talk to us a little about that. Well, that that's it's a promise that almost seems too distant to believe, right. or I, that's not a path that I want to choose. But right. I think that I think in, anyone who does have the courage to pray, God break me, and is and is open to just a real trans, transparent moment with God mm -hmm. uh, on the on the other side of pain of failure of setbacks, right. uh, what we often do is a little bit like, like Peter in scripture when he was really bold and confident. He, he had something that was special, but on the other side of his failure where he had to see the eyes of Jesus and mm -hmm. said, I just let you down and then was completely forgiven and right. restored. It did something in him. I think that there was, there's that a, a path of normal success um, and forward movement couldn't have done what the breaking did right. to teach him the true grace of right. God and the presence of God. And so it's, again, no one just says, I want to have a horrible day. I want to have a right. massive setback. <laughs> right. But I think that, that on, on the other side of real brokenness um, can be an intimacy and a strength and a spiritual confidence that, that you cannot um, discover on right. any other path. Right. No, I agree. And you know, I love to read that in the Bible. Mm -hmm. But then going through it, it's a completely different thing. It's like you said, is you just want to get to the end. Yes. Like, okay, let me get to the blessings part because yes. this is really hard. And, and you'll find, I think, Melissa, if, if someone is going through something they thought they could never, ever survive, they'll, they'll say things, you'll hear them say things like, you know, I, I, um, I didn't know that there would be a strength to help me through this. And then on the other side, one of the most common things you'll hear is, I wouldn't want anybody else to ever go through right. this but I wouldn't change right. what I experienced in learning to trust God or his people or what he taught me through it. Right. Well, I have a story where that is exactly what's been happening in my life. Um, I thought a long time about what I was gonna share with all of you today. Um, the prayers I have been praying um, for the past like seven months has been for one of my children. Mm -hmm. um, I have four children. The youngest is 18, the oldest is 26. So they're pretty much grown and out and making their own decisions now, choosing their own path in life, and wow, that is hard as a parent to watch. You still have influence in their lives, but they're getting a lot of other influences in their lives that they didn't have you know, when they were living at right. home. And um, I'm not gonna be specific about the prayers that uh, my husband and I have been praying right now, but this situation, what God has done in our lives personally, um, I, I wouldn't have thought seven months ago that this is where we would be. So with this situation, I, in the beginning, I was praying, you know, you know, when you, when you get that news that it just confuses you or you weren't expecting, and I started praying, Lord, just help me. I'm distraught. I can't sleep. Um, I'm worried. Um, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't understand. Lord, just help me. And Lord, help my child. Mm -hmm. Just help my child. I want my child to come back to you, to trust you, to, um, I just want you to work in my child's life and want my child to accept that from you. And basically every day, those, it's almost like I'm just begging God to fix things and to make them yeah. right according to how I think they should be. And um, it was about this time when I heard about your book. And I feel like you guys, I have the greatest job. I got to read this book before it was ever out on the shelves. Because originally when I started reading it, I was reading it to help decide, is this the right fit for our audience? And do we want to do this as an online Bible study? But as I was reading it for review, it quickly turned very personal mm -hmm. for me. And I love when that happens. And that's usually when we know when that happens, we're like, oh, this is, this is a good book. And um, so like I said, my focus had kind of been on, give me, Lord, fix this, change things. 
And um, through reading Dangerous Prayers, those three sections, Search Me, which we've already read about, we're in the middle of Break Me Right Now, and you guys, what's coming up is Send Me. Mm -hmm. Those three words have defined this journey so far for me. And as I was reading, I was like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start being bold. I'm going to ask God to search me. Instead of asking him, Lord, please do this, God, search me, know my heart, test me. If there's anything you want to reveal to me about me or about the situation or about anything, um, I am open and I'm listening and I want to know. And, you know, as a woman who works in ministry, what I realized is going to make me sound like such a hypocrite because I work in ministry because I passionately believe in Jesus mm -hmm. and the Word of God. And I want everyone to have that as their anchor in life. And yet here I was not trusting God at all. You know, um, I, we read in the Bible, we hear other people's stories, we've experienced it ourselves before, that movement of God to get us through situations. But then yet here I found myself in one and I was in despair all the time. And it showed in my work, it showed in my personal life. I mean, anyone who, who knew me could, if without me even saying, could tell something was going on. But just that realization, it turned me from having those kind of, I call them crybaby prayers, instead of the crybaby prayers mm -hmm. to like saying, okay, Lord, you've revealed this in me, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. So, okay, what's it time for now? Break me. Um, Lord, break me, a scary prayer like mm -hmm. you and Kaylee talked about last week. No one wants to pray, break me. Right. Um, and you wrote in your book that someone said to you one time, you know, you're like, okay, am I broken yet? And they're like, you'll know when you're broken. Mm -hmm. And um, I knew when I was completely broken because I was completely ready to depend on God. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's not working. Mm -hmm. My way is not working. And I'm wasting so much time. It was like I was paralyzed. I was just stuck in this paralysis and fear was ruling my life. But it was in that brokenness that I found hope and remembered the hope that I knew all along. And you know, there's a worship song called Do It Again. Mm -hmm. And we sing it a lot at church and just the same words over and over. I've seen you move, you move the mountains and I believe I'll see you do it again. You made a way when there was no way and I believe, you know, I'll see you do it again. I thought, God, I sing that with such, you know, I believe it. So I need to believe it, you know? I need to believe it for, for myself, for my children, for, for um, what's going on in my life as well. I, I, God doesn't just do that for other people. Right. <laughs> he can do it for us too. And so um, it was then that I was like, I'm, I'm still reading through your book, and we had already decided it was gonna be an online Bible study, but you don't just read the book and go, okay, search me, check. Okay, break me, check. All right, Lord, use me, send me, you know. But when I finally got to that point where I was ready to say, okay, I'm done, I'm ready, mm -hmm. send me. But my prayers haven't been answered. I'm not on the other side to where I know what's going to happen or, you know, I don't know. And I don't even know in my lifetime if I'm going to know. You know, mm -hmm. I remember my grandmother used to pray for like an hour or two every night. And if you were spending the night with her, then you sat with Grammy and you listened to her pray for an hour. When you're eight years old, that wasn't your choice of things to do at night. But now at, I'm so thankful. But long after she died, those prayers, some of them she never saw answered. Mm -hmm. But I'm seeing them be answered mm -hmm. in the lives of her children. That gives me great hope. So I was like, okay, Lord, I'm ready. Send me. Um, and... Another thing in your book that you say in there is instead of always asking God to do something on our behalf, then what if we dare to ask him to use us on his behalf? Yeah. Those words were perfect because when I don't, didn't really know how to word, you know, and ask God to send me, that was perfect. Mm -hmm. Lord, use me on your behalf. And so um, instead now of focusing so much on asking God to, to fix everything. Um, I'm more in a place of, Lord, what can you use me for right now? Mm -hmm. And it's been so clear. In fact, it determined my word of the year is love because I can love. I can love my so child good. always. So always, my child will always have a home mm -hmm. with us. We'll love my children no matter what. 
path they take in life. Mm -hmm. um, and I can love even when I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I can choose to encourage others. Yeah. I can choose to smile. Um, so many ways that the Lord can use, but I wasn't able to do that until I kind of had that breakthrough. Mm -hmm. And um, so now that is my desire for God. I still have my cry moments, mm -hmm. but I have such hopeful moments. And I'm enjoying the people in my life so much more. I mean, I think I can see a clear difference in the past month just because I'm closer to God than I was at the beginning of right. this. I have to be, yeah. you know, I have to be. I'm getting up every morning. I'm listening to worship music more than I liked it to begin with, mm -hmm. but um, it's just helping me to get through and bring that smile to my face mm -hmm. that I wasn't sure could be there for sure. a while. Well, I, my heart goes out to you. And I think there, you know, anybody with children, you tend to know that that uh, you, d you don't write the parenting book early <laughs> because right. it's, it's just so complicated. Yeah. And if, if there is somebody who has a situation like this where you've got a child making decisions that you, know, you, you may not understand right. or, or there may be someone that's facing a real financial challenge or a health issue, and what tends to happen is we do tend, we think, I can handle this, or, or it's the opposite. I don't know what to do. Right. And I would just encourage you to kind of do what Melissa did, and that is just go all in to the brokenness mm -hmm. and say, I can't necessarily fix this. I don't have the power. I don't have the strength. I can't do it on my own. So I need all of you, God. And it seems like even in the middle of your trial, you do still have a little bit of joy of knowing what can I do? Right. I can love. Right. And that is, that's a good place to be. Right. And you, you're, you're at a point of surrender where you, you say, I can't, doing this doesn't fix anything, but doing this and saying, here's my child, or right. here's my greatest fear, or here's my hesitancy, or right. here's my marriage is broken, and I, and I trust it to you. Right. There, I've seen you move mountains before, and, and I, I believe you you're going to do, do it, it again. again. Yes, yeah, that's <laughs> right. great. Right, absolutely. Well, um, thank you so much again this week. Looking forward to another week of Break Me in Dangerous well, Prayers. Thank you for your transparency, and, and I believe on the other side of this trial, you, you will see God do it again. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us again this week. Bye.